Forests cover close to 70% of Japan's land area. They've been an intrinsic part of Japanese culture since time immemorial. Kishu, in the southern part of the Ki Peninsula, faces the Pacific Ocean. It's famous among chefs worldwide for its charcoal production. The charcoal is known as Kishu Binchotan. Classified as white charcoal because of its surface color, it's highly prized for its enduring qualities. The removal of as many impurities as possible gives it a hardness like that of metal. White charcoal burns slowly. Although it emits strong heat, it hardly gives off flames. The high carbon density of white charcoal allows it to emit far infrared radiation. This has the effect of thoroughly cooking, but not burning food, making it a sought after culinary material. The first step in making Kishu Binchotan begins in the mountains at an elevation of 600 meters above sea level. Cutting the lumber used as a base material is Hara Masaki, who has made charcoal for three decades. Even from the same roots, he cuts some trunks but leaves others. The view of the mountain shows the results of his technique. Narrow trees are left on the slope to grow, while fresh young ones sprout up around them. Although using selective cutting requires careful consideration, it allows remaining trees to extend each of their roots deep into the ground so that the mountainside can fully recover in the span of just a decade. The cut logs are transported to the kiln. The kiln is constructed from earth and stone with a width of 1.2 meters and a height of around 3 meters. To balance the airflow, the surfaces are manually leveled out. Two hours later, about three tons of logs have been packed into the kiln. Hara then seals off the entrance and leaves it for three days to remove all moisture from the logs. Slowly but surely, the wood is burned into charcoal. It's the night before the kiln is to be empty. The opening to the kiln is gradually widened, increasing the heat at which the almost completed charcoal burns. The wood fragments in the charcoal are burned away, eliminating impurities so that it can attain the hard and carbon-dense form that defines white charcoal. Once removed from the kiln, the charcoal is immediately cooled by burying it in ash. This ash coating the surface is what makes the charcoal white. After seven days in the kiln, the wait is finally over. Like the charcoal, Kishu's woodland culture has been tended with care and continues to burn bright. <laughs>